SES-1, or second engine start one, is where we light the single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. And fairing separation is when those two fairing halves separate and fall away from the second stage. Keep an eye out for the, those events because they're going to be happening in rather quick succession. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Bearing separation confirmed. And there you have those events. Uh, again, that was Miko, stage step, SES-1, and as you saw, fairing separation. We'll be attempting to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel, NRC Quest. Both of the fairing halves flying on today's missions are flight proven and are flying for the fifth time. And just a reminder, on the left-hand side of your screen is the Falcon 9 first stage making its way back down to Earth. And on the right is the second stage carrying our Starlink satellites into orbit. Currently, the first stage is on its way back to Earth towards our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, which is positioned in the Pacific Ocean. And a reminder, our first stage is on the left-hand side of your screen. If successful with today's landing attempt, this will mark our 179th overall landing of an orbital class rocket. And the MBAC engine on the right-hand side of your screen, attached to our second stage, is continuing its burn. And this should last for another several minutes here. As I mentioned earlier, today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 217th mission overall and 18th mission just this year. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. And there you heard that stage one and stage two are both following nominal trajectories. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high speed, low latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. Coming up in about a minute or so, we expect stage one entry burn. This is the point at which the first stage will relight three of its Merlin 1D engines in preparation for landing. And we expect that entry burn to begin in just around 40 seconds from now. Getting some really spectacular views of the Earth behind both our MVAC on the right-hand side of your screen and through those two grid friends on our first stage on the left-hand side. Stage one entry burn startup. 
And there's that call out for stage one entry burn. Stage one, which we also refer to as the booster, has ignited engines one, five, and nine to slow it down for atmospheric reentry. The first stage used to launch our 52 Starlink satellites into space today is flying for its eighth time. Stage one entry burn shutdown. Having previously supported SARA 1, SWAT, NROL 85 and 87, and three previous Starlink missions. And as you saw, we had stage one entry burn shutdown. Stage one FTS has saved. Coming up next will be our stage one landing burn. This will be the final burn on our first stage. And this stage is- Stage two FTS has saved. The point that this would be in preparation for landing on our drone ship. Stage one transonic. And there's that call out that our first stage is transonic, which means it's traveling near the speed of sound. Terminal guidance. Stage one landing burn. And there's that confirmation that the stage one landing burn has begun in preparation for touchdown on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. Just coming into frame now on the left-hand side of your screen. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. Falcon 9 has successfully landed on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you in the Pacific Ocean. This marks our 179th overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including F-9 and Falcon Heavy missions. Nominal orbit insertion. And we just heard that call out as well for nominal orbital insertion of our second stage and our Starlink satellites. And with confirmation of successful first stage landing and good orbit from our second stage, that wraps up our coverage for now. Be sure to check our social media for confirmation of Starlink deployment. And for those of you interested in watching, for those of you interested in watching more launch coverage, tune in for a double header later this afternoon to watch Falcon 9 take the SES-18 and SES-19 payloads to space from Space Launch Complex 40 on the opposite coast in Florida. As always, thanks for watching, and we hope to see you again in just a few hours.